All right, we're going to work on the cross head caps here. Um, there's two of them. This is what uh, they look like. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to start by getting this little gate milled off uh, and just establishing a flat uh, surface um, relative to the tops of these bosses. Um, so that's got to be a hundred. 56 thousandths. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is um, we, gotta t we have to take about 40 thousandths off. I'm going to, I got two parallels under this um, just just resting on those bosses and um, I'm going to take about 20, 25 thousandths off uh, just to get this flat and I'll take it out of the vise and recheck everything and um, see where we're going from there. So, um, okay, here we go. So I took 25 thousandths off of each of the uh, cross head cap castings here just to clean them up, measure them. I got to take another 12 thousandths off. 12 thousandths will bring me down to the 330 seconds of an inch uh, that is required uh, here. I don't know if I can get this in the camera, if it's in focus or not. Um, so. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take 12 thousandths off of uh, this one, uh, set it up the same way, uh, take 12 thousandths off of this, and then uh, I'll come back, I'll put them in the parallels across, and I'll just spot these uh, bosses uh, down to the um, uh, 5 30 seconds height, and they'll get drilled uh, later on. All right. Okay, so both of these cross head caps are, um, are milled down to the proper thickness here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I got my um, I got my uh, end mill zeroed out on this parallel that this cross cap is resting on, and um, I'm going to just spot this uh, boss. Just give me a nice flat surface. This has got to be a hundred and. 56 thousandths um, thick. So uh, when I get to 156, I'll stop, move it over, spot that uh, there as well. And then um, I'll switch them and then I'll put this cap in the vise. Um, I'm just going to do the one. I'm not going to show both of them. Okay, so now I got to drill um, a 964th hole. Uh, it's got to be centered on the boss, uh, and then um, measure over, um, I believe, inch and a half. Um, so I, I'm I'm just using a quarter inch end mill uh, in in the chuck, and I'm just using that as a guide to kind of center um, center the uh, uh, drill chuck over the uh, boss there and just moving it back and forth ever so slightly just so I, I kind of eyeball it as a center so um, so that's done um, let me 
lock the table here and um, I'm going to zero out my uh, my dial here and uh, I'll put a center drill in put a center drill in, uh, center drill it and come back with my regular drill bit Send the drill back in, and I'm going to move the uh, table in the X direction, um, inch and a half. Okay, that's 15 revolutions on the dial, or inch and a half. Going ahead and um, send the drill there. Okay, so I went back. Uh, I went back past 750, and then came forward again uh, to eliminate the uh, backlash in the uh, in the screw. Okay, so got both of these done now. Um, I went over, uh, I did it off camera. 
had some 400 grit uh, sandpaper. I just just uh, went over these surfaces uh, on the surface plate just to smooth them out, take any of the uh, tooling marks off. There's still a little bit in there, but that'll be fine. So, uh, all right, these are done. Uh, we'll just keep moving on. Thanks for watching.